So you might be trying to figure out how you can basically find a lost iPhone on someone else's iPhone. So let's say I've recently lost my iPhone, but my friend has an iPhone or even any phone that they can go ahead and use and I can try finding my iPhone with. This is how to do it. The first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your Safari browser or internet browser, whatever one, and you want to just go ahead and get into incognito mode. So just go into private mode like this. And what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to make it so you can go ahead and basically none of your things are going to be saved on your phone, on your friend's phone. And what you want to do is type in lost iPhone on Google. And when you do that, you basically just find, you know, that if you if your iPhone has been lost, whatever, you can go ahead and just go to iCloud.com slash find. But I like going onto those website because it just reminds people exactly how to go and go through and just, you know, find your lost phone. So click on iCloud.com slash find. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to go ahead and sign into your account. So what you want to do is you want to sign into your iCloud account. Now you can go and continue with password or you can use a different Apple ID. In your case, you're going to be using a different Apple ID. So just click that. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and continue with my password because I'm already signed into the same exact account. But just use your Apple ID is exactly the same exact process. So now when you go ahead and log in, you'll basically come into this page. This so now within this specific panel, and I'm not going to show you the exact details, but they're basically going to show you exactly where your devices are. So now all you're going to have to do is look at that big map that's at the very top, like I showed you earlier, and it's going to show you exactly where that iPhone is. Now, if your iPhone is off or Find My is not working or whatever the case is, well, then this is not really going to work for you at all. But if it is working and if everything there is perfectly fine, well, then that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. You want to tap on that device just like this, and you'll probably come into a panel look something like this. And all you're going to have to do here is basically just find that device, find exactly what you're working with, and then that's basically it. It's a very, very basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.